Hi guys, this is a follow-up video on the previous video that I did on DJI Mavic Mini and how you can fly your drone over 15 meter height. We will be using the app feature called Local Data Mode which enables you to fly your drone over 15 meter height. In addition to turning on the Local Data Mode, in this video I will talk about the other features which needs to be disabled in order to restrict the app from accessing your GPS locations, your device hardware details, etc. First, I will give you the app tour and then I will connect my DJI drone. So right now what you see on the screen is the home page. Here you see on the top left corner, the GPS says locating. Now it won't be able to locate me unless I allow the GPS connection, right? But I also have my GPS on the phone turned off. But first, I will click on my profile. This will take me to my profile page and I will then click on the settings. You will find on the left hand side a tab called privacy. So once you are here, you will see the local data mode. Here I have got my local data mode turned on. And below it you will see that the other features are turned off, except for one. But let's go over this and see what the first one says. It says mobile device GPS info. If I expand this, it says GPS information for the mobile device used with the app. What it does is it takes GPS locations from your device, that is your phone, and it tells the DJI where you are actually located. So depending on the situation, you might want to turn this on because if you are using fake GPS location on your phone, you want that fake GPS location to be read by this app and that's how you can trick the app from finding your actual location. And the most important of all is the DJI device GPS info. Well, you want to turn this off at all the time because you do not want the DJI drone to be able to locate itself. And the second is the DJI device hardware. This also needs to be turned off at all the time because this will prevent the app from reading the information about the hardware that is connected to the app. That is the aircraft version and also the RC controller version. It will also read the battery information. Next, we have approximate location info. As per this, the DJI device that is your drone will always maintain a distance of 5 to 10 kilometers in respect to your RC controller. And this is necessary if you're flying your drone over restricted geo zones. Unfortunately, you cannot turn this off, so you have to leave it as it is. So this remains turned on all the time. And the last one is DJI product improvement project. Well, I have this turned off as well. Now, if you put this turned on, the DJI will collect the flight data from your flight logs. Now, this trick or call it a hack works on DJI Mini Mavic Air 2 DJI Mini 2 on both iOS and Android phones. On the screen you can see that I do not have my DJI drone or the RC remote connected. The FlySafe database for apps is 01.00.01.19 and the app version is 1.2.2. I will provide the link for downloading this particular app version under the video description. Here you see that the RC firmware says not applicable or NA. That's because I have not connected my RC yet. So let me turn on my RC. All right, so right now my RC is connected to the phone and that's why you can see the RC firmware here. Now that the RC is connected to the phone, the next thing I want to do is turn on the DJI drone. You will shortly see the model number here. As you can see right now, my DJI Mavic Mini is successfully connected. You can see both the aircraft firmware and the RC firmware. Now under the safety tab, you can change the maximum distance. You can change the auto RTH altitude. And you can see the slider works, except for the maximum altitude. It is locked at 350 meter and I cannot change it here, right? Now that's because I have already set up this remote controller along with my DJI drone, that is the aircraft to be flown not over 350 meter using my Android device. So that is a separate process altogether on how to enable that. Now in order to change the maximum altitude to 500, you can change that setting over Android OS. 
So please refer to my previous video that I did on how to change the settings for the altitude using the Android device first. Right now, what you see here, everything's been done on my iPhone. So let me turn off my DJI app to show you that when I relaunch my DJI app again, the settings remains and I don't have to change it. Please don't be alarmed by the error message you see on the screen which says unable to take off. That's because I am doing this tutorial from inside my room and I do not have active satellite connection to my drone yet and that's the reason why it is saying unable to take off. Now if you take this drone outside your room, you will be able to safely fly it. And now that we have learned how to fly our drone with no limit or at least bypass the limit of 15 meter, I also want to talk about the cones of doing the settings. The first cone is you will not be able to use the inbuilt Google Maps or any other maps on your phone. Which means that you will not be able to see on the map where exactly your drone is. That brings to the second point. You might lose your drone because you may not be able to locate it if it has flown really too far away from where you are. But for this problem, I have got a solution, a workaround, which works just fine. And I'll make a different video on this. So if you'd like to be informed about the new video, please leave a like on this one and consider subscribing. That's it, guys, from this video. I hope you have enjoyed watching it. I wish you all the best and fly safely. In case you're having trouble making these changes, please leave a comment. I'll pick the comment and then reply to it. You will find additional details under the video description, so be sure to check that out. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.